All right, hey guys, this is in fact Blood Cooker bringing you game one, obviously. Week two of uh, uh, two groups of people, actually more like four, but that's fine. Um, it's going to be Aurelius uh, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner as the green Protoss and uh, his opponent is going to be Scora spawning as the yellow Protoss on the top right corner. And this map is Coral Compound, you know, the one with the natural expansion that's quite pretty easy to take with a very, uh, I don't know what you call it, natural third. Oh, see what I did there. And then a very intuitive fourth as well, though being open to all sorts of counterattacks. Uh, so we have Aurelius, who is, I believe, Gold Legan. Gold Legan like a boss, but he's a pretty good Gold Leaguer, that's for sure. Uh, and um, I'm really excited for this bat because, guys, guys, you know what this is? It's a PvP! Yeah, I love PvPs. You know why? Because everyone else hates them. Everyone else hates PvP. And I just love them. I, I love them for that reason and that reason only. And uh, I'd say that's reason enough. First of all, we are noticing that uh, Scora is one harvester up on his opponent, but that's not too big of a deal. Although every harvester counts, especially in a mirror matchup like PvP. Are we gonna see the high five? Oh no, they kiss! <laughs> Did you see that? They kissed. That was so adorable. All right. So now that they're going to uh, go in a tree and in the start K I S S I N G ing. Um, okay, that that didn't work out very well. <coughs> we see two gas going down for Scora. So, interesting, uh, interesting choice from Scora. He's a platinum level, uh, at least one v one platinum level Protoss on the ladder. And I've seen his play. I do like it a lot. He's definitely pretty talented. And uh, it probably worked out it pretty hard to become uh, pretty good at uh, this that platinum league. Uh, and unfortunately kind of a supply block going down, but that's not too big of a deal. And uh, both probes are in each other's bases, so I don't know what could be more annoying. Uh, but that second gas is delaying the cybernetics core uh, a ridiculous amount, actually. Uh, let's take a look at the harvester. Yes, he's gotten, he's, he's gotten two extra harvesters, but an extremely delayed cybernetics core. I wonder what he's going to be going for here, because he has a ton of gas saved up. Uh, maybe some sort of Colossus early one base push. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. As these two uh, friends play, play some sort of ring around the rosy game. Yeah, there goes the probe. <coughs> All right, three gateways are coming up for um, Aurelius, and here is the gateway technology research. Because apparently, when you're done researching it one game. They unresearch it for the next, and then you have to research it again for the next game because you're on a different planet, I guess. I, I never really understood that. And guys, guys, what's what's better than uh, three gate? That's right, a four gate. You can't go wrong with the four gate, man. Uh, Cybernetics core research is almost done. More pylons coming out for Aurelius, and we have a four gate on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see what will Scora have to respond. Oh no, just two gateways and a sentry. So you better have some clutch force fields if he's gonna. Ah! If he's gonna wanna hold this off. Oh! Oh, what's this? A Stargate? Who cares? Who cares about four gate? What's that? A Stargate. I wanna build void rays. Void rays are the winning unit, and I agree, void rays are a unit for winners and winners only. Now notice this, look at this, being much better about those chrono boosts has actually gotten his warp gate research way closer uh, than I originally would have thought, at least with the um, Cyber Next Core time. But here comes the uh, first warp in, maybe... Yeah, here we go. First warp in are a bunch of stalkers, and they're going to be running up to the base, but the probe that was on its way does get taken out by the two sentries. So I don't know how effective this four gate is going to be, especially with Void Rays en route. Maybe this is what he's going to do. Oh, not Void Rays. Phoenix, some Phoenix guys. Looks like we're gonna be seeing some awesome Phoenix. Yo, fo show Enix. Uh, and I guess that's what he's gonna be doing with all his gas, <coughs> getting every single tech building in the entire universe. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. All right, another pro for Relis is coming out, but he's missing that key timing uh, where the 4G actually hits. Uh, he's gonna be a little delayed on that. 
Um, but these phoenixes, uh, I, I wonder what they're going to be able to do, um, especially against this four gate. Um, yeah, I guess they can lift up stalkers, but uh, other than that, no, there's not an incredible amount of things they can do. Uh, let's see, we're going to see another warp in maybe from Aurelius, and then he's going to probably push into the base. Uh, interestingly enough, seeing two sentries as part of this four gate. Uh, three more stalkers coming out, and it looks like this is going to be the final push force. Just finally, a third gateway is coming out. And here comes the army. They're going to be coming up the ramp. Zealots are going to be attacking. A nice split on the army there. <coughs> and oh my goodness, these stalkers are wrecking these zealots. But so are the zealots wrecking the stalkers. Oh, he just needs to kill that one. There we go. Now uh, he needs to put down another force field. Split the army in half. Nice work. Doing that. DMGs getting those stalkers down. Sentry tickling to death. And that stalker is just kind of up in the main base. So the other army is going to be able to attack as well. Oh no, this is going to be really bad for uh, for Scora if you can't hold this off. Oh crap. Why do I yawn? I'm so, oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so bad at this. And Immortal's just about to pop out, guys. The Immortal is out doing tons of damage. In fact, 50 damage a shot to those Stalkers. Nice force field, sort of, by uh, Scora, kind of locking those Stalkers back. Looks like he's going to focus on this other pair. We're trying to move, Command. Oh no. Miss Micro there from Morelius, going to be able to do a little bit of damage, but here comes the Phoenix coming in to do that lifting. And oh no, so many probes are going to be lost, but same on this end, let's, oh no. Hopelessly attacking the Nexus. And let's take a look at how many workers were killed. Wow, Scora taking the advantage to himself. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, he's taking the advantage to himself. Taking out seven workers and Aurelius only taking out four. So obviously, Scora's attack with the Phoenix was way better than uh, Aurelius's uh, four gate. But it was a nice attempt from Aurelius, putting the pressure on Scora, and it was an excellent hold from Scora himself. We're gonna go ahead and see a pro moving out across the field. If I can actually hit the, the follow unit hotkey, and look at this. Interestingly enough, deciding to take an expo. Uh, this may be the fall of him. I'm not totally sure about that. We'll find out in a minute. Um, so right now, Scoret is in a leading position, but unfortunately, he doesn't have an expansion going down for him right now. So unless he does something to punish this, uh, I don't see Scoret being ahead for very long. Yes, he's ahead in tech, but uh, it's not going to be that way for long if uh, if if Aurelius gets an expansion up. The Phoenix doing their Phoenixy thing. Armies moving across the map. This is a small force, but those Immortals are going to be pretty, pretty huge, especially against all these Stalkers. But look at this, Aurelius switching over to lots more Zealots in his composition, which is going to be good uh, against the other Zealots and the Immortal, but pretty bad against the Sentry's force fields. Look at all that energy keeping him from the start. Uh, this one's actually uh, max out on energy. Good news bears, I guess, <laughs> if you can say that. All right, and now that awkward time when the music just kind of cuts out. Yeah, here we go. Colossus are coming out with the Thermal Lance upgrade. Super excited for this. And uh, here we go, more Zelts warping in. D opting to not get those Stalkers, probably because he just doesn't want to spend the gas for it. Uh, and I believe here comes the army to move in to scout to see if... No, here comes the proxy pylon gonna set that up right out of the range of Aurelius actually uh, he cannot actually see that and uh, here comes the first Colossus guys Colossus has arrived uh, and this is gonna be pretty key especially against all these zealots um, in Aurelius's force he just he's got a ragtag army he's not even producing any units this could be so bad for Aurelius is he gonna actually respond here uh, looks like he's gonna build some units. I don't have the overlay up, so I can't tell. Uh, but oh no, Scores army is just way bigger. Look at that. Um, a whole like 15 supply ahead. Here comes the engagement. Zealots running in on the front. Gonna do tons of damage. Those force fields, uh, helping out Aurelius more so than they're helping out Score. But the Zealots are just stacking up, doing so much. Law coming out from Aurelius. And this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. That is just an absolute steamroll from a Score. Uh, and he needed to do this because of this expansion. And he's obviously going to take out the expansion. 
Uh, and apparently Aurelius is laughing, uh, which I don't blame him. That is quite the uh, laughable matter. And the Nexus goes down. Uh, no more natural expansion for uh, Aurelius, and he's now going to waltz right into the main base. Zealous just kind of doing their thing, taking out those uh, pylons, trying to do some damage to the Colossus, not quite working out. And uh, Pyloned right there, that's for sure. More Zealots warping in, going to try and do more damage to the Colossus, but no, denied. GG coming out from Aurelius, and that is... I guess the, the end of game one. So Scora taking one game off Aurelius. Let's go on to game two. Another PvP. PvP heroes.